Hi, host Eric here with my buddy John, who is recently gone through a bit of a breakup, and he was just starting to tell me about his, uh, how it's been a challenge for him emotionally. I wanted to hear more about how he experiences emotions, and I believe him to be an ESTJ, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, regardless, John, you were saying about... I'm the experiment. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying about how um, basically she cut you off the face of the earth. Yeah. Which means what, exactly? Uh, she blocked me off social media. Um, I'm, I'm assuming her phone, everything. And I haven't chased her. And it was, now this is, this is the second breakup, right? Like you well, broke up once before. Well, I first my marriage, and then I got with her. No, I mean with her. It's with just... her, yeah, we've been breaking up on and on maybe three times. This one is final. This is the permanent end, huh? This has been... Um, this has been six, about six weeks. No contact, no nothing. So this was pretty, pretty done now. The other ones were just kind of like a few weeks here, then, then Valentine's came, and then, then, uh, our anniversary, our two year anniversary came and we got back together. So it was just kind of like a, it was more of like an emotional kind of, we were just hooking up, you know, we were just, we weren't really back together. Um, I remember when you first met this girl, you were quite enamored of her, quite certain that this was the one. And you had, it's not like you jumped at the first chick who came around. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was with a lot of women before her, and then I just cut them all off and started a relationship with her. Poor ladies. Yeah. Getting cut off to John like that is <laughs> not I heard easy. some people. I heard <laughs> some people. Um, okay, so you settled with this one. And what was it you liked about her originally? I liked the way she was with me. I liked the way she treated me. I, uh, she was a good woman. She is a good woman. But I have two kids. She has two kids. Uh, no, she has three kids. And the blended family thing was just not working for me. Um, our styles of raising our kids were totally different. So I was just looking into the future, and I was like, I, I'm not going to be able to live with this. And that's when uh, I knew... I couldn't change a 41 year old woman um, to change her ways so I was just looking at the future and knew that it wasn't gonna work well plus there was also that annoying factor that her name was poop face yeah so you kind of wish that her parents had named her something else but... well I don't wish anything bad on her I don't I can't really like <laughs> neither do I John I was just making a poop face okay. joke um, <laughs> With the question I wanted to ask you, though, you had said something about how you've determined that it's mostly ego related in some sense. Can you explain that? You know what? It's ego because I know this relationship was not going to work. I know, unless there were some drastic changes, which I know weren't going to happen. So, being cut off like that to me was more my ego than anything else. It was not. It was a losing. I felt like I felt like she won up me. And I think that's what bothered me the most. And everybody, you know, nobody's good at breaking up. But this was her way of breaking up. It's just, you know, um, it was probably, I don't know if it's healthy, but this was her way. Just cut them off. Um, you know, Neither of you wanted to lose the breakup. You both we didn't want to win. lose the breakup. You both we wanted, wanted to win up. the breakup. Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> I broke up with her. And then... Uh, a week, well, maybe two weeks later, I got back with her. She wanted to come back to me, and, and I got back with her. I said, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I had another girl um, on the side there, and I ended up pushing her away. She wanted to be in a relationship with me. And I said, I don't want to go from one relationship to another. Let me give her benefit of the doubt. We've been together for two years. Let's see what happens. But it was worse because she was hurt, and um, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. So she she needed time, but I was already so fed up, I couldn't give her any more time. I, I wanted to just continue where we were and, and work on it and see what changes were going to happen, which, you know, didn't happen. They weren't going to happen. So um, I was unpleasant. I was unpleasant. I was not a good boyfriend. And, you know, I was still pointing out the things that I didn't like and complaining about my, you know, the things I didn't like and... She wasn't going to budge. She was like, well, I'm hurt. You need to give me time. But I had already given her two years, you know. Well, you know, John, now that you're single again, um, I can I can occasionally, if you, uh, hopefully you stop by a little more often. I rarely see John. Did you just spit on the carpet? <laughs> Sorry, bro. 
Um, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Um, uh, then I could ask you more. We could. I could ask you questions about dating and stuff because okay. John here is very knowledgeable. I have asked him before. I said, "Well, like, how do you, how do you deal with like putting the move on a chick or stuff like that?" And he had good advice. He said, "This is good advice." Just to end this video at right here before. Well, in my part of the video, I'm gonna see what else John has to say that he wants to get off the chest here before we call it a video. But good advice is this: you don't. What what did he say? Something like. You don't try to do anything until she makes it clear that that's what she wants to do. You know, like, yeah. and, and just generally, um, the cheese in the driver's seat. And you just gotta, yes. you got you're kind of like a, a wait and watch and see it for the, for the, uh, flower to open up. Or I'm something. very patient with dating. When I, when I date a woman, you know when they are interested, when they're not, if they have time, if they don't. This is just mine. I let them know that I'm interested and basically I put the ball in their court and you kind of know if they are interested or not and that's kind of how I go about it. I let them know, hey, I'm interested and um, like now I'm, I'm, I'm dating, I guess you could say I'm dating. I've, I've met some women now and they know I'm interested and a few are and there are some that are just kind of keeping their reservations which is fine but they know that I'm interested do you feel like you read their emotions well yeah a lot of them have walls you know and it's just their walls whatever they've been through and you kind of gotta uh, chip them away and be patient do you feel like you read guys well also I think general? I read women I think I read people in general I'm pretty good at reading people Huh. Although this girl, that this woman that I was dating, I, I didn't know this was how she was going to end things. Um, in a way, I thought at first when I first, when we first broke up and she cut me off like that, I thought, wow, she's strong. But then after thinking about it, I was thinking, you know what? She took the easy way out. I don't think she's as strong as I thought she was. I think this was just an easy way out for her just to shut me off and pretend that it didn't happen and made me feel... She just, look, John, she won that battle. That's what it boils down to. Just one battle. She won that battle. Yeah. And you just got to accept the fact that you lost that battle. Because this is the thing. The bigger battle takes place as the circles expand out. So it's like, you know, she may block you or whatever. She's still going to be aware of your goings on and doings. I don't know, man. I don't, I see, that's the thing I don't know. That's where my ego's at. I don't know if she's really done and she doesn't want to see what I'm doing or care about what I'm doing anymore. I felt disposable. So I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking. I, I don't have that chance to to find out. And I'm not going to chase her. I have to respect well, that. Well, sure. I have to respect that. So I do. I don't go chasing her. And I'm not going to. She knows where I was at. And Right. But what I'm saying is simultaneously, you're both building your own farms and your own spots, right? Yeah. At a certain point, if your farm is healthy and vigorous and successful enough, then it its existence becomes unavoidably known to her, right? Right. So I think that's the, there's the solution to winning the war. The war is not over. The war stretches until death. Yeah. That's when the, that's the war, the big war. The big war to win against everyone. Well, she won the battle. She didn't win the war because right. I'm not going to wait. She won the skirmish. It's not even a battle. It's yeah. just a skirmish. Yeah. It's a border, it's a border flare. Well, it's been in the, it's been six weeks and I'm still trying to get over the fact that she wiped me off the face of the earth. You know, she unfriended me, unfriended all my friends, had her friends unfriend me. Oh, she just, that's bullshit. Yeah, she just, That's fucking and bullshit. And her friends were like, you know, texting me, sorry, you know, but she requested to, you know, and to, she requested to you know, for us to unfriend you, and, and I was pretty much, they were like telling me in a good way, they weren't saying, hey, you're a bad guy or anything, they were like, you're a good guy, sorry, this didn't work out. So that pretty much told me, okay, she's done, she's done. That's just ridiculous. She doesn't own her friend's companionship with you. How does she have dictate? How can she dictate to a bunch of people that they must become not friendly with you anymore? I think That's in ridiculous. her opinion, she was like, "I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take me away from you and everything that I had to offer, including my friends, away from you." And yeah, it, I feel it's chicken shit, but it's her way. I gotta respect it. 
and it, I think it was just the easy way out. Well, I, I'm still trying to figure that. it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't have to respect it, and I don't respect it. Because you tell you what, she is presuming that she knows what's best for her friends as well as for herself. Right. She can choose to block you all she wants. When she starts telling other people what to do, that's fucked up. And that deserves Eric's condemnation of the day. Yes, that's right, Johnny's ex-girlfriend. You get Eric's <laughs> condemnation of the day for telling your friends what to do. So fuck off. Okay. Thank you for watching Talking to Famous People.